those flat, dark backgrounds in my watercolor paintings. Once I've put the subject onto watercolor paper, I put a layer of frisket film on top. Then I use an X-Acto knife to cut away the background. Next, I use a 50-50 mixture of Holbein's Payne's Gray and Holbein's Lamp Black that has a consistency that is just a little bit watery. Then I use a hake brush, dipping just the tip into the paint. Hake is a Japanese word, and I've heard some people say haki, which is a lot closer than hake, which I've also heard, but it's pronounced hake. The very first layer always makes the paper soggy, so I immediately dry it with my artist heat gun or a hairdryer. The paper just starts to buckle, but if you hold the dryer close enough to the paper, it dries pretty quickly and flattens back out. When it appears dry, I pat it with the back of my hand. At this point, it looks and feels dry, but some spots are noticeably cooler than others. That's where it's still damp underneath. You want it completely dry so that it doesn't buckle slowly over time. I repeat this process three or four times until I get the background dark enough for my liking, using a dryer between each layer. With my earlier paintings, I used to paint dark backgrounds around the painting subject with a large brush and no frisket film. It was a very slow process, and it took at least 10 layers to get it to look even.